Alright. I know I said I wouldn't do one. Today we're gonna do a tier list. <laughs> of multiverses. I think I've played enough to get a gist of what the game will look like. Or what the melter was shaped to be. This one already had Rick and Morty. Uh, I will not be ranking them as I have we have no info on them at all at this moment. But so yeah, we're gonna start. Uh, like S is really good. A is uh, S is like near OP. A is really good. B is okay. C, uh, you're injuring yourself a little bit, or you need to play them really well. And D is, please don't touch that shit. We're gonna rename this to, please don't touch that shit. C is going to be, you are, you're injuring your success. B is, good slash balanced. A is, very good and S is OP. Let's put more P. O P P P. Okay. So we're gonna start off with Arya Stark. Uh, from the assassin class, I feel she might be the best one. Um, honestly, I'm going to put her in very good. I don't think she's OP. She needs a lot of mastering to be able to play efficiently. But I think she's really good. She has a lot of potential to pop off though. Uh, Batman is a very good character. Uh, so far in the Bruiser category, he's very good. Uh, Bugs Bunny is OP. If you know how to... I'm going to go from the standpoint of 2v2, okay? Not 1v1. The game is balanced around the 2v2 mechanics, mostly. Um, Bugs create so much space and so much chaos that... He, he's just that good. And let's get him out of the way. Tom and Jerry are OP too. And he, even in a 1v1. These characters, their damage are a bit lower. Because they rely a lot on projectiles. Since they're mages. But if you know how to maneuver them and create chaos on the battlefield. You really create a good setup opportunity for your teammate to actually be able to do like the killing or the blow. Uh, Finn is very good. Finn is very good, but I still think he's lower than Haria. Finn is really basic. He's really easy to pick off, but he's just really effective at it. But I don't think he's OP. Uh, Harley Quinn is good. In my opinion, Harley Quinn is just good. She's balanced. She can do what she's supposed to do, and that's pretty much around it. Compared to Arya or Finn, I think she's not that worth picking up, but like I said, she's in the good slash balance category, so you can have a lot of success on it. Uh, Jake is joining our Harley Queen. He's fun. I love Jake to die. I think he's one of the most fun bruiser, but his range is a bit short beside for his punch. And he doesn't have a projectiles. Having a projectiles in this game automatically makes you a bit better than everyone. And he doesn't have one. So he's a bit lower. Uh, Garnet is in the very good. She's she's between good and very good. Like, I wish I could put her... Can I... Should I have a tier just for Garnet? Because Garnet is good. She can get a lot of shit done, and her dance slash singing can block projectiles. In a 2v2 scenario, that's very good. But compared to some of the other bruiser, she doesn't give that much beside raw power. Uh, Ryan Dog is OP. As a support, he's very good. A lot of projectiles, a lot of zone control, a lot of supporting stuff, and just. This is just insane. So, uh. So now that's the needle in the hay bale. Shaggy is not good, in my opinion. But he's broken right now. Every Shaggy I've seen does the same thing. Charge, kick. Charge, kick. And with that strategy, yeah, you're going to kill people. You're going to kill a lot of people. 
So, he's clearly in the OP tier, but I will put him in good. I'll put him in very good for now. He hasn't been touched yet in terms of balance, and we don't know how they will approach Shaggy. Uh, so, I'll put him in very good for now. I don't think he belongs in the OP. Superman is very good. So much so that he outclasses Batman. I think he's the... I'm really debating and putting him in OP. But he's not OP by any means. He's just really good. A lot of gap closer. And he's two grabs or something. And if you manage to throw them into the sun, that's something. And he has a lot of debuff. He has the small knockout with his laser. He has the freezing beam. Uh, the freezing breath, I mean. So, he has a lot going on for him. Uh, Steven is very good. I don't think he's OP. He doesn't have as much projectile and zone control as Rangdog. And as Velma. But, uh, he's really good. He's a really good support. And he plays almost like a bruiser. Really. Uh, yeah, he plays exactly like a bruiser, but while hating his teammate. With shielding, dropping his shield as platform with Watermelon Steven. So he has a lot going on for him. Taz. I've not seen Taz that much ever since the Tornado nerf. If I would have done the tier list Monday, this bitch was an OP tier. But, honestly, I don't know where he would stand right now. As the Tornado has been nerfed. And I've heard it hurted him a lot just because of these changes so for now I'll put him in your enduring your success I'm joking not really I think he's not that good right now with the tornado nerf uh, he, besides the tornado and even with the nerf most people just keep spamming the tornado because the CC in 2v2 is really good he brings a lot as CC, but in terms of damage, his chicken form takes a lot to get going, and he is a uh, like Kirby-like eat ability is weaker compared to Jake. I think Jake is just a better Taz, honestly. So unless you're really good with him and you know how to maneuver him, which is sad right now, I don't think you should touch Taz right now. In terms of competitive when ranks open, but a lot can change. We're still in preseason right now. Hyren Giant. Most people put him in C, as I've read. I, for one, think he's good. He's slow, he's clunky, he's big, but his combos are insane. His transformation does a lot of damage. His kind of CC is really good. And I think in a 2v2 scenario, Hyron Giant is the tank to go usually if you just want a massive beef in front of your teammate and something, someone that like grabs the attention of the enemy compared to like Superman, who yes can do that, but he's mostly annoying with the, um, the grab and the uppercut. I'm debating a Velma between good and very good. She's in the right hand. She's very good. In the hand of someone who doesn't know how to combo pro properly with her. And actually hate his teammate. She's just good. And I think that's where I'm going to put her for now. In the good slash balance category. She's good. And the police investigation thing is like really powerful. But it takes a bit of time. And you need to be good with her. But I, I mean you need to learn her combo properly. If you don't manage to learn her combo and how to aid your teammate, I think she's just good. You're going to have success with her, but you're not going to have very success with her. Oh boy, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. She's between very good and balanced as well. I think I'll put her in very good. She is strong capable of nullifying projectiles giving a free hit to your teammate 
and she has a lot going for her. Is she better than Superman? That's debatable. I, I, I really think they're just on the same level right now. Yeah, for Tank, honestly, the class looks really solid. You have Superman, Iron Giant, and Wonder Woman, which are all really fucking good right now. Um, and then we're left off with newest character, LeBron James from Space Jam and New Legacy. He's not OP, but he is good. Just the fact that his attacks rely on a projectile. Is really good. Like I said, right now projectiles are everything, in my opinion. And LeBron James just brings so much to the table. If you really want a zone controlling bruiser, dude, pick LeBron James. He's a hundred percent worth it. He's so strong right now. And I guess I can try to guess. Morty will be a bruiser, from what I heard from the league. And Rick will be a mage. And if you follow the trend, Rick will 100% end up in a Hopi tier. And Morty will hover around here and there. But depending on if they give him a similar kit to Jake and uh, Taz, I'm pretty sure he's going to end up between this. Otherwise, I think Morty will end up being really balanced. And Rick will be <laughs> in minus the OP. Unless they do something about the mages class. And the fact that projectiles are life. But that's going to be my tier list for now. I think it's decent. Is it the best? Maybe not. That's my opinion right there. Uh, I think from my experience, from playing a lot of character, from battling against these characters, from going into 1v1 with some of these characters, I think this is an accurate-ish tier list in my opinion. Unless for Taz. Like I said, ever since the nerf, I've not tried him again, and I've need I, I think I've seen one Taz. And he kept killing himself. He jumped off the um, the stage. So I couldn't get a, a good opinion of it. But I think that's my tier list. Rick and Morty are just speculation. Speculation! I don't want comments saying, but they're not out yet! That's speculation right here. These are maybe. This is what I think from the no fucking info we have. Anyway, so that's going to be my tier list right now. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and follow me on my other socials. I'll probably be streaming Multiverses a lot since I fucking love this game. <laughs> It's the first fighting game I've loved this much since ever, I think. Even Smash, I didn't get in that much. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next one. See ya!